this year the title is in the girl's eyes because the topic is inequalities uh, affecting girls even in our country inequalities that start as we will see right from the early childhood what happens is that in our country as well girls grow up knowing that they have to face more difficulties and obstacles compared to their male peers and in particular the fact is that girls work hard in school and they have school success but then when they go and are employed they discovered that equality is far away and data shows that this um, attitude by girls to choose humanity as a subject then will um, push them to choose specific careers humanity careers that um less required on the market compared to the scientific subjects so there is uh, the need to invert the course because the risk that we are running even after covid is that uh, we will run the risk of having women less employed and the focus of this uh, of this report of Atlas 2020 is to see what are the differences, inequalities uh, right from the beginning of school. So in general, in school, girls have better results than uh, boys. Uh, this girls, as you can see from the charts, they have lower rates in school dropout for example compared to their male peers and this is true for all the Italian regions maybe the situation is a slightly different in the southern part of Italy but it's a general situation So they have um, great success, a school success with better results. But when we talk about need, so neither employed or education or training, so young people neither employed or uh, in education or training, girls have a higher probability of being need compared to the boys. So one girl out of four, so 24.3%, um, compared to 20.22% of boys. And this is true um, even for virtuous regions. So the average in Emilia-Romagna Emilia is 14.3%. Uh, so lower than the Italian average, but our percentage is higher than the European average, which is 12%. And there is a difference between boys and girls. So 17.8% of women live in this neat situation versus 11% of boys. And so uh, this topic is really at the heart of a policy maker because this uh, data um, shows that we are lagging behind compared to Europe and it's extremely worrying if we consider it its impact uh, after Covid and the pandemic. The other big differentiation we see that there is an inclination of girls for humanities and boys for scientific subjects and this is right from primary school and so if we consider all the statistics we see that there is a score for boys that sticks until high school 
So there is a um, kind of orientation, study orientation, right from the primary schools. And um, in uh, high schools, for example, we have uh, boys in the scientific schools and girls, they are more present in humanities or arts. And so this means that when they have to enroll to university, they do not look for the STEM uh, faculties, uh, the technological or mathematical ones that are probably more required on the uh, job market. If we consider the uh, girls who obtained a university degree from 25 to 34, it's 16.5% compared to 37% of boys. If we consider the situation of employment, um, female employment, we know that there is a very low rate of female employment in our country, considering all ages. And what shall be stressed is that this gap narrows when the level of study increases. So if we consider the employment rate of uh, girls who obtained a university diploma, university degree, um, we can see that this rate is uh, higher if uh, they have a university degree and then it's lower if they have, for example, a high school diploma, even lower if they have no diploma at all. For example, young girls, university degrees, 76% are employed compared to 83% boys. In case of just a diploma, is 56% compared to 80% of boys. Um, no diploma, employment is ensured only to 36% of girls um, compared to 70% of boys. So education remains a protective factor for girls, but even among girls with a, a university degree, there is anyway a huge differentiation. And if we consider the data of last year, considering the pandemic, the uh, girls who obtained their uh, university degree uh, found job uh, less than uh, boys, so with a lower percentage. And so this means having a hard time in finding a job or finding jobs with a, a lower salary, lower income. So this is the Italian picture um, and the m mapping. The, there is a, a chapter in the Atlas considering some stereotypes about uh, violence and abuse. And there is a question uh, that was asked to uh, a population between 18 and 74 if they agreed, uh, on, um, you know, on some statements. Here you see a list of questions, a list of statements. For example, uh, women can induce sexual abuse based on what they wear. And this uh, statement uh, found consensus in 24% of the population, not a lot of difference between men and women. And what uh, impacts more on the answer is the education level. You see the um, white circle, this concerns education. So less acceptance, um, the more uh, they are educated. And as well, this is uh, directly linked to age. So younger people are less prone to accept stereotypes, which is a good thing. What worries uh, about stereotypes is not so much the fact that young people are um, more or less likely to accept, a f for example, uh, physical violence or if the girl is uh, flirting with somebody else and they react while they are um, 
inclined to accept a control by the partner on their social network. So the online control, it's uh, something that is becoming more and more uh, important, significant among uh, young people, and it uh, turns out to be a form of uh, psychological violence.